if you do, if you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? won this game of hide-and-seek, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Gotcha! Whoa! Oh. Uh, sorry there, Gus. <laughs> uh, coast is clear. Thanks, Gus. If your bunnies need a hiding place, my mouth seats eight. Don't think so, Gus. Gotta go. Lose something? Oh! Oh, hi there, Dooley. Willa always plays hide-and-seek whenever she's got a doctor's appointment. Uh-oh. Willa's the best hider around. Yeah, but it's really important that Willa goes for her checkup. You're right, sir. That's why I'm going to help you find her. It'll be the first time I've ever found her at hide-and-seek. Thanks, Doodles. Double overhead! Psst, Wallace. I need to take a little trip on your tail. Treat up, please. <gasps> well, aren't you a good little hider? Shh, they might hear, Jenny. Isn't it about time to stop playing hide-and-seek? I think your dad's running out of places to look. Willa! Willa! Please come out, Willa. We, we, we don't want to be late for Dr. Fector. Uh... Afraid to go to the doctor, hmm? Uh-huh. It just feels weird when he looks in my ears and up my nose and... and... I understand, honey, but you want to stay healthy, don't you? I guess so. <sighs> Gotcha! Huh? Uh, that's my golf hat. Or was. Okay, we give up, Willa. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Oh, come on now, Willa. Doctor Fector's really nice, and he always gives you fun things. You remember that nifty kazoo he gave you last time? <laughs> Oh, and, and that bubble-making stuff. Hey, don't forget the little book of a, of a... What were they? Silly stickers. Well, I do like to get stuff. It didn't hurt one bit when Dr. Fector stuck that popsicle stick thingy down my throat. <gasps> the popsicle stick thingy. <laughs> Oh. A little higher, sir. I just know she's hiding here. Okay, Dooley. Uh, yuck. Okay, come on, enough, Willa. We have to leave for the doctor now. Hmm, where haven't I looked? The chimney. Great idea, Lou. <laughs> okay, Willa, he's gone. Close call. <laughs> Gazintite. Thank you, Willa. I sort of have a stuffy trunk. Oh, poor Tiny. He sneezed all night long. <laughs> Gazintite. Tiny, why didn't you tell me you were sick so I could take you to the veterinarian? <laughs> 
the v veteran what you call it? Veterinarian. That means animal doctor. Doctor! No, 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 no! I've heard what you said about pokey things in your ears and up your nose. Yes. Oops. <laughs> I might have accidentally sort of made Tiny afraid to go to the vet. I know. But I was just pretending to be afraid of the doctor. You were? Why, sure! I was only acting like I was scared. Going to the doctor is no big deal. <laughs> so if, if going to the doctor is no big deal, that means you're going to the doctor, right, Willa? Oh, <laughs> right. Sh sure I am. And you're going with me, Tiny, so you can see how easy it is. <laughs> Any luck in the chimney, sir? Not yet! Ouch! else could Willa be hiding? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, Dad. We're ready to go see Dr. Fector. Uh, uh, we? Is it okay if Tiny comes too? I want to show him how fun the doctor is. Yay! Okay. Well, whatever it takes. I found her, Duels! You can stop looking now! <laughs> I know you're hiding in here, Willa. Aha! <laughs> to Coco, my biggest fan, Love Willard Wallaby. <laughs> <sighs> See, Tiny? Dr. Fector keeps this box of toys in the waiting room for kids like us to play with. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tiny. I forgot you don't like clowns. Oh, oh, they're even scarier than doctors. I told you, doctors aren't scary. Neither are veterinarians, remember? Hey, you know what? Looking at the aquarium always makes me feel better. Wanna see? Hi, fishies. Oh, nice castle. Willa, it's your turn. It's okay, hun. I'll go in with you. Nothing to be afraid of. Afraid? Oh, who's afraid? <laughs> not me. I'm going to show you just how not afraid I am. Come on, Tiny. All done looking in your ears, Willa. Unless you have more than two. <laughs> See how easy this is, Tiny? Uh, isn't that stick missing a popsicle? It's a tongue depressor, Willa. Helps me push down on your tongue so I can see way down south to the back of your mouth. It'll just take a second, honey. You are scared. Me? Scared? No way. Willa, you are in tip-top shape, from your nose to your toes. I am? See, Tiny? Told you there's nothing to be scared of. Going to the doctor is fun, because you know you're staying healthy. And because you were such a good patient, Willa, you get to pick something from the all-done fun basket. An elephant sticker. What do you think of that, Tiny? <laughs> good good tight. Ooh, sounds like you should take your elephant to my brother. He's the best pet bet you can get. <gasps> Come on, Tiny. If I can do it, you can do it. Aha! Gotcha, Willa! <laughs> Tiny? Animal doctors are fun, too. They even have a fish tank. Tiny the elephant, it's your turn. Actually, I'm feeling much better now. Uh, we can... Let's, let's go. <laughs> Gesundheit. Oh, come on, Tiny. How's Tiny, other Dr. Fector? Just a case of junky trunk. Oh, a little nose spray should unblock your hunger. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
<laughs> and for being such a brave pachyderm, you get to pick something from the Feel Better Critter Basket. It's just like the one I got at the doctor's. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, Tiny. Me too. And it wasn't scary? Maybe a little at first. <sighs> But I'm feeling much better, so I'm glad I went to the vet. And I'm glad I went to the doctor. Aha! I finally got you, Willa! Dooley! It's time to get a haircut. Uh, I hate haircuts. Um, how about a game of hide-and-seek, Mom? <laughs> Sticker, huh, guys? I got it at the veterinarian's. You got to stick it just for being sick? Lucky. Oh, uh, now that I think of it, my uh, tummy's kind of crummy. <coughs> Must have been that sofa cushion I ate. Huh? I think Blinky's come down with a bad case of, um, uh, no sticker-itis. Code blue! Actually, I'd prefer a pink or a yellow sticker. Sounds like it's funny brushing time. <laughs> Must have brushed a couple hundred bunnies too many. Sorry, everybody. Hey! Hey, what the? Sorry, Dooley. <laughs> I thought your bunnies were leaves until they started giggling. I think they like my rake more than your brush. I know. That's why I asked my dad to order a new one. Better check to see if it's come in yet. Dad! Oh, for Dad! I'm in my office, Willa! Oh, where are those financial records? Huh, where are they? Oh, stop. Oh, maybe I wrote myself a note here. Find financial records. Ah. Uh, Dad, did you order a new bunny brush? Uh, yes, it'll be here soon. How soon is soon? Sorry, honey, no time to talk now. I need to find some very important papers for a very important phone call. What? Oh, Willa, please get your alligator out of here before you eat something very... Class? Uh, important. Sorry, Dad. And please don't forget about my very important bunny brush. sending them to Hong Kong. Who are you talking to, honey? Um, nobody. See, I thought it was about my bunny brush, but it was just my dad talking about sending something to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? That's a faraway place. Your dad's sending something far away? Mm-hmm. Something that's taking up too much room. So it's a very large something? <laughs> What if it's two very large somethings? Tiny Lou, how could you possibly think my dad was talking about you? Well, um, yesterday we kind of had this teensy weensy misunderstanding. <laughs> hey! Dad would never send you away just because you accidentally squashed his bird bath and lawn mower. What about his tennis racket? 
Willa! My mom said she doesn't want your bunnies in the kitchen when she's making a salad. <laughs> Silly bunnies, you shouldn't use salad forks for a bunny brush. Guys, what's happening? <laughs> Actually, Coco, Willa's dad is sending us all to Hong Kong. <gasps> Hong Kong? Hope you guys know how to speak Chinese. <laughs> Your dad is sending us all to Hong Kong? Of course not, Coco. My dad loves having you around. Oh, you know it. I can't wait to get him out of here. They make such a mess. Um. Willa, remember last week? Okay, Willa, time to say good night! What is that? A shirt cut for Coco. <laughs> Willa! <laughs> that was just Dad's surprised Willa, not his mad one. Willa! Oops. Now, that's a medium mad one. Better go talk to him. Uh, could you hold on a moment, please? Would you guys just oh, give me that? I hate you! Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey, oh, ha, ha, Willa! <laughs> Oops, sorry, Dad. <clears throat> That's great, because, you know, they just don't belong in my house. Yeah. Steve, Edie, have you done anything else lately to make my dad not so happy? Um, nope. Well, <laughs> yesterday's show didn't play as well as we'd hoped. Oh, scrub a dub a doo ba a doo doo a doo 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 ba doo doo ski ba ba doo. Ah! Oh! Hey! Well, ah, 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 Did you ever notice that the sound of a wet dad falling downstairs sounds almost like applause? Well, it wasn't, Steve. No wonder he didn't ask for an encore. Guys, maybe we do have a problem. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, Willis' dad's gonna send us away to Hong Kong! It's not just you two. We've all done stuff to bug Willis' dad. What are you talking? The man's crazy about me. <gasps> No, oh, Gus. Gus. Yummy. No. Oh. I know. Instead of doing stuff that bugs Dad, we need to do extra nice stuff to unbug him. Yay, Willa! <laughs> Here's your big chance, guys. Help Dad water the lawn. and sleep right over our shortcut hole, Bert. <sighs> Looks comfy. What a willerific idea. Now your dad won't have to fix the floor. Willa! Yes, I could. Thanks, Dooley. It's just for a little while, to keep my animal pals from bugging Dad. Okay, I guess. I just hope my mom doesn't... Dooley? All right, Galatis. Hong Kong, here we come. 
Willa, we're super sorry we made your dad so mad he's sending us away. Sending us away? That doesn't sound right. Maybe you should talk to your dad, Willa. You're right, Jenny. I've got to make Dad understand how important you guys are to me. Oh, I'll come with you. No. Oh, gosh. What? Okay, now you're sure the delivery truck is big enough for all of these boxes. Oh, that's great. Because I'll tell you, the sooner they're all in Hong Kong, the better. Bye-bye. Dad, no. My animals tried so hard to be good, and I promised to do a better job of keeping them out of trouble, and... and... You just can't send them to Hong Kong! Willa, 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 I'm not sending your animal friends anywhere. <laughs> you, you're not? No, gosh, I'd never do that. I know how important they are to you. Really? So they don't bug you? Well, no, not really. <laughs> uh, much? So what are you sending to Hong Kong? All these boxes. A customer there really needs them, and they're taking up too much room here. Oh, there's the delivery truck now. Better get these loaded. And we'll help you, Dad. Uh, thank you, Gus. I I've got it from here. Uh, well, maybe not. Willa? Gus? <laughs> Okie doke. That's all of them. One more thing, sir. I have a delivery for a Willa. That's me! Thank you! <gasps> it's my brand new bunny brush! Guess I jumped... I mean, hopped to conclusions. <laughs> Thank you. Shoot. 